Hey, this is YBR back with Forza Horizon 3, and just as promised, we're gonna do the race on the beach, but I gotta drive there again, so it'll be in about two seconds. Boom, we're here. What a conspicuously nice spot for a race route. Just drive up to the marker to start. I need to drive up, we're already here. All right, people want to see you racing, so let's start things off with a single race exhibition. Simple enough. Ooh, looks like we're going to be doing Asian sports cars, which means there's going to be Supras. You know, it's not often that you see a Supra that's made for racing around a track. Almost all the time when you see a video of a Supra or something, it's just going fast and straight line and that's it. No corners needed. Ooh, that car just changed colors. It went from black to white. That red one, that right there is an RX-7, I can tell. Before we get started with the racing, let me go ahead and adjust difficulty right here, because it's on medium. I'm going to put it up to insane, but I'm going to drop the difficulty, the AI, down to... Uh, let's go above average for now, and we'll increase it if needed. And then we're also going to put simulation damage on. And we're going to keep rewind turned off. So if you make a mistake and crash your car, you got to deal with it. You can't just go and rewind and fix your car. You got to just drive that damaged car all the way to the finish line. So that's really just the goal here. Nice and simple, don't make mistakes, and everything's gonna be fine. Also, figure out what controls are used to shift. That's gonna be important because I'm in manual with clutch mode. So how fast is above average? Well, since we're going in a straight line, I really don't know because what it changes is probably is how well they corner. So we gotta wait until we get into a corner to see how fast they actually are. Then, ooh, look at that RX-7 right there. Ooh, he's so much nicer than my car. I'd actually, this is actually a really nice, uh, Sylvia, but it's just like, I, every time I see an RX-7, I'm just like, oh, RX-7, that doesn't matter what I'm driving. I could be in a multi-million dollar hypercar and I still be like, oh, that RX-7 is so much nicer than my car. You know what? I'm kind of curious if we can remove this body kit from this car. Because let's say my character is a purist and he believes every car is best the way it came from the factory and anything somebody does to modify their car ruins the car completely and is now the worst car ever. So his goal is he buys used cars and he makes them stock again and then he resells them on the market and he loses money but he doesn't care because he made a perfect car. Did that count? Did that checkpoint count? Okay, it did. <laughs> I wasn't sure about that. I couldn't remember how strict the checkpoints were in this game. Because I remember before there were a couple of times where I'm like, oh, I missed a checkpoint and I had to backtrack but I couldn't remember why. It's obviously because I was really cutting those corners because I went right through that checkpoint and it didn't matter. There's a dude gaining on me. He's gaining on me, ain't he? Nuh uh. There's no way you're gonna touch me, dude. I'm out of here. My first place dream will not be ruined by somebody like you. Oh, brakes, 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 brakes. Okay. You gotta do a little bit more than just accelerate and yell at people. You actually have to slow down when there are corners. And thank goodness for the racing line right there because it really saved me. Like, I need the racing line when I'm driving on the streets because I can't really memorize corners. Not like a racetrack. It's different. It's completely different in the way it feels when you're driving on it. Chalk it up, boss. That's a win. Plenty more to come, I hope. Important question. How'd the RX-7 do? They were killing it. They got third place. The RX-8. They're all the way down in ninth. And, uh, no third generation RX-7. Just an FC. No FD. Kind of unexpected. You would think that car would be here, but apparently they said nah. Oh, the scratches on the RX-7. Those are all my fault. Oh, I feel bad. I feel so bad. I could have wrecked any car and I wrecked that one. I'm a terrible person. And what happened to my wing? When did my wing fall off? The whole time I was driving, I thought it was attached and I'm just completely oblivious to the fact, oh, hey, my wing fell off at some point. That's amazing. Boss, we're very nearly at fan capacity. Just a few more and I can roll out the next stage of festival plans. Get you some new toys to play with. Hey, Mr. President. I'm your automated natural navigation assistant. You can call me Anna. I've been given an upgrade by the Horizon Tech team back in Cambridge. I'm going to suggest things for you to do and help you find your way around Australia. For now, would you like me to set you a route to the next activity? Come on, dude, that's so easy. I don't want to try to decide this kind of stuff on my own. I want the game to decide it for me, although I don't know what button to hit because apparently A is the wrong button. I've set you a route. If you need me again, just say Anna. Got it. You use the arrow key to activate that, and I figured that out by doing the pro strategy of mashing my hand into the controller until something happened. Okay, so where are we going, crazy GPS that seems way too smart? Like, this is way smarter than any GPS I've ever heard of. GPS shouldn't be able to talk that coherently. They should be like, this street, churn here, that's it. Having a back and forth conversation with a GPS unit is just kind of strange. Like, it's, it's trying to be, okay, Google or something like that, but... 
Ah, my phone just went off. I was like, what was that beep? Um, lost my train of thought now. This is a danger sign. These are hazardous locations our scouts have identified and cordoned off for your safety. Or so you can easily find the best and craziest stunt jumps in the country. Whichever you prefer. Do I want to jump? Do I want to jump? Of course. I've arrived at my destination as we fly through the air. Ooh, that was a harsh landing. Still alive, boss? Excellent. They love that one. I'll tell the scouts to find more. Meanwhile, I'm about to go and have a very lively phone call with our insurance company. Forgot everybody in this game drives on the wrong side of the road. I gotta drive on the wrong side of the road too. It feels so wrong. Actually, wait. It feels so right because I'm a right-hand drive car. Here I am still on the right side of the road. This is a circuit race. All asphalt route, specified number of laps. Sounds simple enough? It does sound simple enough, but I have to pay a little bit of attention not to just completely overshoot it every time like I did right there. So go ahead and start the event, and it's the same one as before, the Asian Sports Club with the Supran. Actually, now that I think about it, there was no Supra in the last race, was there? Is it going to be one in this race? I don't know, but there's an RX-7, and that's the same color as my RX-7. Oh, but look at the color on that car. That thing looks crazy. Exhibitions are big with the fans. So are skill chains. Remember, they don't just want you to win. They want you to do it in style, too. All right, backseat driver telling me how to drive while I'm in the middle of a race. Okay. It's just funny. Like, I was hitting A so fast, they didn't even get to finish a sentence before the race started. I'm not worried about style, though, although I got 100 points somehow. And apparently, I, I'm racking up the points by crashing into a dude. Really? Yeah, great wreckage. So, yeah, just bump into people. And it's like, wow, that was amazing. Have some points. We're going to wreck into everybody, aren't we? Like, 350Z, yeah, we'll wreck into him a little bit. Oh, but that's an RX-7. We don't want to wreck that. we got to go around it nice and gentle. <laughs> like, taking it super wide. Hey, that's my car, but it's in stock form. I'm going to let him be okay. We're not going to touch him. Oh, we got to slow down a little bit on this corner. That guy, what is that, like a Celica Super or something? I don't care about him, and I'm cutting this corner way too deep. Is that going to be a problem? Yes, it is. Well, okay. What position are we in? Dead last. I just wanted a little bit of a challenge because I realized above average is too easy, actually. I didn't realize that until just now. I'm a little slow sometimes to figure these things out. But, yeah, we need a challenge, and here it is. And also, here's some rain, too, to make it even harder to overtake everybody. As I plow through everything, get all this clean racing and wreckage simultaneously. How can you get wreckage and ra clean racing simultaneously? That makes no sense. Yeah, you know, it kind of pays off in this game to be right on the edge of the course and crashing into everything, which feels so wrong. And that RX-7 is in dead last now. Oh, don't hit the RX-7. Don't hit the RX-7. I think I might have tapped his back just a bit. Oh, there's another RX-7. Don't hit him either. I am friends of the RX-7. I will not hit them. Even if I get great wreckage points, we will not hurt them. You, it's your fault. I missed that last checkpoint. Just get out of the way. So I'm just get out of my way and let me catch these other guys. Actually, we have a whole nother lap. I thought this was the last lap. It's three laps, so we might be okay here. We're going to see what happens. If I remember correctly, this thing, it like only rains for one lap and then it stops raining again, doesn't it? It's the weirdest Australian weather ever. Or would I have been able to make it with uh, only two laps? Maybe? Let's see, let's see. Would I have been able to do it? Two lap race, I would have got second. Now, first place, I'm coming for you. Just get out of my way. Is that crazy paint? No, that wasn't crazy paint, was it? I can't tell. There's too much rain on the screen. And also, I'm, you know, trying to look at where I'm driving. That's pretty important as well. So now I'm in first. I could drive however I want, which means probably crash into things to get all those great wreckage bonuses. And, you know, barely stay on the road at all, because that's the ideal strategy. Again, that feels so wrong! Why is the ideal strategy to barely be on the road at all times? It should make you want to be on the road and want to obey the laws of the road. Like, you know, hey, you're staying on the left side of the road. Good job, here's an extra bonus. Not, hey, you're barely on the road. Have a bonus. Like, right here, let's just wreck up all these signs right here. Just boop, boop, boop. Getting points, getting points. Thousand points, just like that. And then you get a multiplier and it's still increasing. Hit that. Let's set some more signs over here because I got enough of a lead to do it. And now we're up to 3,000 points. Can I get a drift? Nope, that was not a drift. Hit some more things, and there is my finish line. So even though I completely blew a checkpoint, we still managed to pull a win out of it. Now, how is everybody else doing? We got the RX-7s not doing so hot. Kind of curious which one's going to win, though. The FC or the FD? And the FD is the 97 one. It doesn't say FD. It's kind of weird. It says FC for one, but it doesn't say FD for the other. And it doesn't say the year on the FC, but whatever. 
I really don't care enough about it to be complaining more than just that amount. Now it's time to look at the crazy colored car in the background and also look at my rewards. Yeah, credits. We got 43,000 credits. And how much XP we got? We got 9,344 XP. Wheel spins offer big credit and car prizes. You can even win limited Horizon Edition cars. Oh, no, I want the car. Ooh, oh, well, 100,000 is pretty good, actually. I'll take that. Hey, Mr. President. I've just been down to the Byron Bay site. You can barely move. People are everywhere. I think the time has come. Meet me there when you're ready to start the expansion. Wow, game. How did you know that's what I wanted to do? I actually didn't. I'm just doing what the game says. Get down here, boss. We're bursting at the seams. Okay, so apparently Anna is too busy to set up my GPS. I thought your whole job was to set up the GPS for me and you failed. Stupid technology, you can never trust it. I know which way to turn, I set up this route. Well, actually, I don't really know where to turn, so thank you, GPS, just this once I say thank you. Are you serious? You're telling me to take a dirt road in my lowered car with this body kit on? This body kit gonna get ruined. What, is, what kind of nonsense is this? And it's like a dirt road off of a dirt road. It's not even the main dirt road here. All right, great. You know, I didn't, I didn't care about my car anyways. I was going to remove the body kit, so it doesn't matter if the body kit gets ruined. In fact, that's going to be the reason why the body kit's removed. I'm going to say, I damaged this body kit so much, we have to remove it. It's essential. Although I'm kind of curious if it'll have a performance effect removing the body kit, because it actually does change the way the car performs, especially with this one. You can fit much wider tires on this thing than stock because of how wide those rear fenders are. I mean, just look at them. Those tires stick out so far. And I'm sure there's extra downforce as well from that big old wing on the back and the front splitter and the rear splitter. All that's giving you downforce. You know, I'm kind of curious what options the body kit gives you. Like if it also says, oh, now you can put the wider tires on it for sure. You can put the wide tires without the wide body kit, which wouldn't make sense, but maybe the game would let you. I don't know what the laws in Australia are, but that wouldn't be legal in California. That's for sure. No, don't crash. Woo, that's clean. That's <laughs> so perfect. Except I can't actually enter the uh, thing from here. I have to back out a little bit. As I almost crashed right there. That was great. Apparently, sometimes in video games, I completely forget how a manual transmission works, even though I drive one every single day. I mean, it doesn't feel at all comparable, so that's probably why. First Byron Bay, then Australia, then... Actually, I think we might just stay in Australia. It's awfully nice here. Forza does give me a good impression of Australia. Welcome to the auto show. Well, thank you, Warren. That sure is a polite thing to say to me. Love your work so far, boss. Kira said I should get you set up with another car for this next set of races. Take a look at these, and whichever you fancy is yours to keep. So we get four choices, all of which I really don't care for. I don't like these kinds of vehicles. None are appealing to me at all. So you know what? Let's quit the game. Okay, so I actually did quit out of the game, and now we're back in the game, and let's see what happens. This is the garage. This is where you come to paint or upgrade your car. Or just to visit me. Okay, so let's go to my cars and see if it forced me to have one. No. We have the Sylvia and some other car that I got for free. That is awesome. And we can kind of poke around the rest of the menus, make sure it doesn't appear if we click on these. So, no, nothing there. And then... I don't think anything else will pull it up, actually. I'm kind of looking around. Like, if it's not in the cars, we successfully avoided having to drive an ugly SUV slash crossover type vehicle. This is both genius and and stupid at the same time because I might just end up having to buy one so instead of getting one for free I have to actually pay money for one. I genuinely have no idea what's gonna happen and actually I'm gonna go to Google real quick and make sure I didn't completely break the game by doing this so I'll be right back. So I did some quick searching and it turns out nobody else in the world seems to have been as stupid as me and actually tried something like that so we'll see what happens. Now for my other stupid idea let's remove the body kit. Aftermarket body kits? Big and wide and low to the ground is all the rage these days. Yes, but as I was saying, I'm going to go against the style and remove the body kit. Although, wait, what? Okay, so it does have the body kit, but it doesn't. This is kind of confusing. Let's see. What if we go to custom upgrade? And I know how to upgrade things. You don't need to tell me this. And conversion? Here's where we do the heavy stuff. Engine replacements and twin turbos. 
This is also where you make a car stock again, because this is really important to me. Ooh. Ooh, you dropped down a lot in terms of everything. Those wide tires are really useful, but you know what? We're going for that stock look. This is so dumb. I'm gonna spend money to make my car worse. Well, I don't think I spend money on this. It's free, but are we really making the car worse here? And as for this not stock wing. And all your custom bodywork needs right here. So let's get that stock wing on. Although Nisma wings are kind of legit. No, stock. Stock, stock, stock. Perfect, that's stock. Rear bumper, that is stock. Sides, those are stock. And then the hood, that's stock, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Now we have a 100% stock looking car. And I have no idea why I'm doing this still. Yep, make my car worse. I am completely okay with this. I want my car to be worse. Although, I wonder if we could put big tires on it still. I should check that actually real quick. So we're gonna go... If your car needs some new shoes, we can take care of it here. Okay, so we could at least put wider tires on it to get back some of the performance I lost from removing the wide body kit. Still not as good as it was, but it's close. Because it's at a 784 rating, where before it was an 800 rating. So, not as good, but close. Think of it this way. The car looks significantly different without the body kit, and the performance is just going to be a little bit worse. At least, I think it's only going to be a little bit worse. We'll see if that's actually true or not. So is the game going to tell me which way to go, or do I have to figure it out on my own? Did I completely break it because I'm supposed to be driving the SUV right now? I don't know. Let's look at the map. Let's see what the map shows. All right, the map still shows things that we can do. So you know what? We're going to try to do them. Where is an actual uh, mission, though? That says undiscovered route. That's an actual thing. So I want to try that out and see what the game says. I think this one's a little closer, though. So yeah, we'll go to that undiscovered route and see what happens. For all I know, I'm the first person ever to find the exploit where you don't get the SUV. Which isn't really an exploit because it doesn't benefit you much. It's more of a glitch, I would say. Because exploit usually means you get something out of it. Although, to me, I get something. I don't have to drive an SUV. And a sports car loving man like me, that is great. Also, the reason I crashed back there, that's because I don't have the body kit anymore. Yeah, totally. Gonna use that excuse as much as I possibly can. For real, though, it don't feel that different. Like, driving around here, it's hard to tell because I'm in the air half the time. And my shortcut paid off beautifully right there. Like, I was not sure if that was going to work out. Like, I realized halfway through that shortcut, I should not be going this direction, but it worked out. So, you know what? I believe in my shortcut taking abilities. Let's go. Another shortcut into the beach. Through all the beach. Thankfully, there's nobody on the beach. That'd be terrible. You, like, have to dodge civilians and stuff. What is this, Grand Theft Auto? Ooh, a board. I hope you did that on purpose. These bonus boards are hidden all over Horizon Australia. Smashing them earns you a reward. In this case, an XP boost. Now this one's a cross-country circuit. Like a cross-country, but in a circuit. Not a very imaginative name, I know. Alright, let's see what happens. Can we do it? Oh, it's actually working! It's actually gonna let me do this one using the Sylvia. Is this normal? Would it normally have allowed it if I just drove up to it and I actually got the other car? I really have no clue. I stand out so bad though. All these people in SUVs like, dude, what are you doing in that car? The only response I got for that is, I'm about to win in this car, hopefully. I really have no idea what's going to happen. It might put me at such a big disadvantage that I actually can't win. Or I might be able to win easily because it puts me at a big advantage. I noticed at the start that was a big disadvantage because they all took off with their four-wheel drive and stuff. And me, with my rear-wheel drive and subpar launch, I started to fall back. And right here, they're out accelerating me. I think it was the water slowed me down a ton, so they're able to outspeed me right here but let's see what happens here i'm able to gain on them and let's start the overtaking one two and three cars overtaken and this is actually working i was super concerned but you know what i think we're gonna be able to win just not at that water area that water area slowed me down a ton maybe if we could cut it a little bit shallower it might not be so bad but when we actually get to the corners i'm able to kill them like right here look at this boom easy overtake with a beautiful drift yeah, that wasn't a bad drift. Admittedly, it was basically, I'm in the mud, sliding all over the place, hoping I don't spin out, and I didn't. But it looked pretty good, I thought. And I'm noticing right here, those jumps. When my car hits the jump, it hits the landing. Theirs, they have so much ground clearance, they kind of just smooth it out. My echoes funk, and it gets slowed down. But right here, through these corners, we're going to take first place. It's my lead. But I'm probably going to lose it in like two seconds right here in this water. 
I gotta cut it short, but I actually can't because there's a checkpoint in the water. I have to go way out here. And, yep, getting past. Is the other guy behind me gonna pass me as well? Doesn't look like it. He's gonna try, though. He was really giving it a shot. Now we gotta focus on that car in front of me. We gotta overtake them again. I was able to do it last time pretty easily, so I'm thinking it shouldn't be too difficult. But I'm noticing this is not as easy as the above average race from before. It might be a combination of me downgrading my car and them having SUVs in a cross-country race. I'm not exactly sure, but it's actually pretty good feeling here. Like, I actually have to put some effort in to win. So right here is a good place to pass them because they take that corner way wide. I can go on the inside, get a little bit of a slide going again, and first place. Let's hopefully not lose it on these jumps. Watch how much speed I lose. Boom. I'm in the 60s now. I get it up to 75, land it back in the 60s. And they are gaining, it looks like, on the minimap, but not enough to pass me. This is my victory, and I can pretty much cruise through these lungs because they can't corner as fast as me at all on regular terrain. Oh, did I get that checkpoint? Okay, I did. I was a little worried right there. That was scary. Another win! That's what the fans and I like to see. I mean, you look at that car list, and my car definitely stands out a ton. And look how perfect my car still looks. Theirs look dirty, mine... Okay, it looks dirty too, I admit it. I thought it didn't look dirty at first, but it actually does. So yeah, I get all the rewards like normal, and I want to go back and check what the requirements were for this thing and see what it actually says, if it'll allow me to. Like, I'm curious if it just says, oh yeah, you could actually use any car if I'm somehow exploiting the hey, game Mr. here. President, there's another driver who'd be perfect for your lineup. The driver will be somewhere around here. Alright, got it, but we're gonna do that next time because I gotta figure this out. So if we hit view eligible cars... Yeah, I exploited the game! The game's like, no, that car is not eligible, but you used it anyways. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! This is my sport utility hero, the Nissan Silvia! SUVs suck, man. Silvias are all right by me. So anyways, till next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya!